Camera Obscura, the ancestor of modern photography. In our previous video, we discussed some historical photos. And as promised, today's video is all about the invention and evolution of the Camera Obscura. So, let's get started. Camera Obscura is considered the ancestor of modern photography. The term Camera Obscura comes from Latin, where camera means chamber or room, and obscura means dark, translating to dark room or darkened chamber. Camera obscura is a dark room having a hole or lens on one wall. The light from the outside area will pass through this hole and project an inverted image on the opposite wall. There is only one source of light in the room and the light rays will pass through this hole to project a visible image. However, it will not capture that image. It's just a temporary projection caused by the light. Camera Obscura is a simple optical device that displays the basic principles of light and projects an inverted image. The image flips upside down because light travels in straight lines. Light from the top of an object enters through the hole and continues traveling downward, while light from the bottom of the object moves upward after passing through the hole. That's why the image appears inverted and reversed when projected inside the camera obscura. Camera obscura wasn't invented by a single person, but the earliest known written reference comes from Chinese philosopher Mozi in the 5th century BCE. These writings explain the concept and the formation of an inverted image. This concept was also noticed by Greek philosopher Aristotle and the Byzantine Greek mathematician and architect Anthemius. However, Ibn al-Haytham, an Arab mathematician and scientist, is considered the first person to conduct experiments on projecting an image using light traveling in straight lines. He provided the first correct analysis of the camera obscura, and used a screen in a dark room for image projection. He explained the working of the camera obscura in his book, The Book of Optics. You will get the link in the description box. After this invention, many artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Johannes Kepler refined the concept, used the camera obscura to trace images and create fine art. In the 17th century, a German mathematician and astronomer, Johannes Kepler, introduced a lens to the camera obscura, which improved image clarity and brightness. By the 18th century, portable versions with mirrors and screens became famous among artists and scientists. Later, the developments in the early 19th century led to the invention of the first camera that actually captured a photo. We will discuss this invention and the evolution of the camera from the 1820s to the 21st century in another video. Yes, we can build a simple camera obscura at home using household materials. Just take an empty box and use a needle to poke a tiny hole on one side. Then, glue a white paper inside the box, opposite the hole as a projection screen. Seal the box with tape so that the only source of light is the tiny hole. You can even put your phone inside the box to record, but it won't be very effective because the projection will be dim and unclear. Instead, it's better to make a viewing hole in the box to observe the projection directly. I will attach a PDF guide on how to make a camera obscura in the description box. It took thousands of years to develop the tiny camera we use daily for our snaps. How was the first photo taken? Which was the first phone to offer a built-in camera? And when did videography begin? All of this will be discussed in our upcoming video on the evolution of modern cameras and photography. Stay connected for the latest updates.